All right, we're gonna play with these guys today. And you're gonna have to guess what they are, but I'll let you know soon. I'm gonna work on these today. These are little clips that we can use as a dungeon master. You'll have a screen that goes around your area and you can put the names of the characters that are playing with you and or monsters that you're going against or other, you know, battle worthy creatures and such. And you can clip them to the, to the board and it's an easy way to track who, who comes up next. In other words, uh, rule for initiative is a big thing in finding out who goes first in the battle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna resin these guys cause they're just pine wood. But um, yeah, if I put a coating of resin on them, then we can write, write the names on there with a uh, wipe off marker. So it'll be really handy for us and we can use these guys over and over again. Okay, I've got a little bit left in my cup and I am literally gonna pull it, dump it out on a paper because uh, I'm dealing with some pretty colors, but I have a project in mind that's a little different, but I think it could be fun. All right, I think this is enough time to take these guys off and see what we got underneath. That one didn't have a whole lot of anything. This one I thought might have a little bit more than it did. Oh, well. It is moving rather slow. I think it's been about maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> so. All right. So these guys are at a little bit of an angle. And I'm gonna have a paper towel on standby just to, nope, that didn't work. Ooh, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. the side I need it. I have that rest like so and that's it. Hey. Okay. I'm trying to do a better smishy. Trying to get the low part up high. So that way it'll set nice and level.
He's seriously on the sticky side. <laughs> and I gotta somehow or another hit these with the heat gun very carefully. Last one. Put in quite a bit of pressure. I'm gonna resin both sides here. Oops. That was a bald spot. I'm gonna heat with a heat gun without torching the paper towel. Maybe I'll move the paper towel for a moment. Okay. good enough. <laughs> Dancing with resin. Yeah, this is not a good idea. All right. Push these over to the side just a moment. And I'm just trying to raise them up just a little bit so that way they will be nice and level because resin is a self-leveling thing and it will find a way to, to level itself off. All right, so we'll check these out tomorrow and bring you guys in. So just little name tag kind of things. tomorrow all right so this is the next day on these little I don't know what you want to call them creature tags character tags whatever for Dungeons and Dragons and if you notice I've just got one side done and I'll work on the other side so that way they can write our names on our side of the board as well as he can write names on his side of the board but uh, here's one of them here it's not fully cured, so I don't want to put a ton of pressure on this. But this slick surface does really, really good with dry erase markers. So if you ever want to create like a little sign to keep around, like the office or home or something like that, and you want to jazz it up a little bit, have some fun with some resin on there, and it'll still work great for a dry erase marker. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Then, see, I even got some... Cool effects with just doing some little mini swipes with my finger there. <laughs> All right, so hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. There you go.